Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak, and you can also call me Ankur. This episode is little different what we are doing currently. We are on the CRUD operation, but I have thought that we have to just modify our views also. I want to have some modification in the edit button. I want to have a session that means a flash session, or you can say that when user when user submitted the edited part. then there is no notification i want a notification that the update is successful and i want to clean out the codes that means i want to separate this error from here okay so let's see how we can do all these things and the crud operations delete the last part of the crud operation will be on the next episode so stay tuned that episode will be coming soon so let's dive into these little things so let's go and for that firstly separate this error from here so i will just cut this error from here i will create a partials folder that means partials slash errors file that means error dot blade dot php and paste it here close it and here i will say include include what include to do dot partials dot errors okay let's go to add new and blank submitted the items and you can see error is here that means our include part is correctly working i have separated out the error part and this is very beneficial for you why i have separated the errors because that error section you can use this lines in anywhere of your project so again this is the dry thing that means don't repeat yourself i'm not repeating i will just include that file in anywhere where i have form error okay let's just quickly modify the edit buttons so here are the edit buttons i want the far icon so let's say edit far edit fa far pencil font or some icons So here I will copy this. I will go to home dot blade dot php, and instead of this edit, I will just say this icon and click refresh. This is the icons. Just quickly check it is working or not. Click here, and yep, it's working fine. Now the last thing, the session part. So what we can do? We can just go to this update function, and after the save, I will. create a session that means a flash session why flash session because flash session is very useful that it has life for only one request that means it will go off when the page refreshes so flash name is message and message is that updated successfully okay let's see if there is any error refresh yes unexpected return why because no semicolon let's refresh yes so flash message is successfully created but there is no display of that session so for that just go to home.blade.php and here you can say if if what if session has what has message if the message named session has on the session then you will just echo session session and get get what get message okay let's just quickly refresh there is error because this is not the correct spelling of session now refresh click on the edit click submit and you can see this is the message okay and you can see if i refresh this message will gone because this is a flash message only for one request i don't want that message to display like this i want to be customized so i will just wrap this in h1 tag and in h1 tag i will say class class of alert alert success okay and when we go again and click submit and you can see this is clearly clearly shown okay and when we refresh it's gone 
okay so this is the use of flash method okay the last thing i can do i can just separate out this message also by cut by cutting from here and create a new file called message.blade.php and here i will paste this and i will just include 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 what include to do dot partials dot message and let's see the result click edit again submit and yep it's working fine so we have seen that we have successfully modified some view clear our code and make a flash session so if you have any doubt in this episode please feel free to comment me and if you have any doubt in your project you want my help please comment me feel free to comment and don't forget to hit a like button on my videos if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your developer friends so that everyone can get the knowledge of laravel and you can follow me on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in the next episode where we complete the delete part of the crud operation so till then stay tuned and we will meet in the next episode bye